Welcome to the Dark Match for your week of 12-8-2012. I am your host, Ali, and along with me are... I am rotten, and I'm, I'm wishing that I could have uh, enough money to play WoW again, full-time. Mm, and I'm Iron Bite. Iron Bite Dash, you wouldn't see me playing World of War Crack if you paid me. But... I have the Iron Sheik tweet because, you know, we always love what, when the Iron Sheik tweets. <laughs> if Rick Ross, the boss, what the fuck is Iranian legend Iron Sheik? Question. Uh, the Sheik? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a question that, that we must, we must is ask that, ourselves. What is the Iron Sheik? Is that rhetorical? It might be. <laughs> Uh, if you could see me, the, I'm stroking my. He's heart. a. He's an Arab made out of uh, cast iron. Possibly. They also anyway, be... WWE. No. Yeah, it's the WWE show for Raw and SmackDown. Um. Okay. We got TLC coming up, so so they're they're trying to tie things up, but. We've got uh, five hours of programming that we got to condense down. Uh, yeah. Well, if we eliminate. Yeah. Well, if we eliminate the padding, it's an hour. You know what? You're you're pretty much right about that. That there's four hours of padding. Four entire hours of padding in this show. But unlike TNA, we don't start with a promo, then cut to commercial. No, we start with a match because Raw is going to start out with Team Hell No coming down to the ring while the Shield um, is just standing amongst the crowd. Dean Ambrose looking all smug. Seth Rollins looking like Seth Rollins. And that one guy whose name I don't remember. But it's Roman probably Reigns. Roland Reigns looking. You know what? I still don't remember his name. What's his name again? I, 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 just... I, thought, I thought his. I thought his name was. This promo was over. Oh right. Okay. So th so we've got um, the 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 shield out in the crowd. So we, so it's so three guys in body armor. Uh, apparently, the shield is here to combat injustice in the WWE. They're here all to be the disciples of the big boss man. Mm. It's Even nice. Fifty cent. Yeah, seriously. But we're gonna start out with Team Hell No versus the Primetime Players in a non-title match. If you don't know what happens in this match, you haven't been paying attention to what they've been doing to the Primetime Players. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah. Uh, good match. Good match between the four. Um, Daniels and Brian, I'm sorry, Daniels, <laughs> Dan Christopher Daniels is suddenly in the WWE. Um, Christopher Daniels, Brian. Yeah. And, uh, Daniel Bryan, man, that's a tag team. Ma that's a tag team made in heaven. Um, no, no, he's literally a fusion between Christopher Daniels and Daniel Bryan. Wouldn't that just uh, be Daniel Bryan, but bald? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Daniel Bryan and Kane have actually kind of embraced one another as actual partners instead of, I'm the tag team champion. No, I'm the tag team champion. I'm the tag team champion. And then we go into... Well, uh, well it's pretty much because they're getting, uh, at least uh, that uh, right now they have a common enemy to focus all their attention on instead of each other. That is true. Um, but... At the same time, I mean, I, I kind of like the dynamic between Team Hell No when they were like, I'm the tag team champion. No, I'm the tag team champion. It was yeah, I know. And interesting. Um, well, they'll probably go back to it at some point. Probably. Only when they haven't murdered the joke. They, they, uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll. As long as they continue to uh, to come up with f uh, really funny stuff uh, promos together, it'll it, it it they can keep going. Right. Uh, again, match ends. 
uh, the primetime players do the job. And the shield really rips out, uh, rips through Team Hell No. It's like, yeah, I get it. You're the you're the new dominant stable, but at the same time, this is Kane we're talking about here. He should be able to kill you dead. Uh, I don't know. The way they beat him, they really just like hammer down blows on him. I mean, That's even true. Kane, That's true. even Kane can only take so much abuse. Not only that, it was Kane after the match, so. Yeah. So he should be warmed up and ready to go. I did like I did like the the way they the the, the camera angles during this match as they they kept shifting between the different air shield members, you know, walking down the steps and then Yeah. Um I mean they they had they had some yeah, they had some interesting camera work. But we go to the back where John Cena is with Sheamus and apparently they're going to have a tag team match. Against Ziggler and Big Show a little bit, but uh, before the he, he, Cena has to be thanked for going to showing up on SmackDown because the brand extension even mat- matters. No, it doesn't. Fuck you, Cena. Go away. Oh. I bet you're wondering why I'm on this other show. We don't. <laughs> we don't care. Even, even if it is brand extension, that it is something they they have kind of kept. They have pretty much kept Cena only to Raw. At Which, least, for, at least that's the only. That's probably the only thing they've they've done as far as the brand extension. Yeah, that I, I can mean, think of. Well, they've also kept Punk on Raw. Basically, they've kept everybody on Raw who they can get away with for whatever reason. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I I just joined there because I'm thinking about Cena and he kind of bores me. As far as I've seen it, they uh, what I remember, and I I'm pretty sure they still do this is that like they they tend to like take a lot of they tend to put like SmackDown main event event events on Raw instead of, instead of having them on SmackDown. They'll have yes. them on. Yeah, that's two like SmackDown main eventers or two two SmackDown guys going at it in a main event style match. Yeah, it's kind of um, yeah, it's kind of annoying. So um, we go to commercial. We come back, and it's everybody's favorite little psycho, AJ. Yes, mm, she's back in the booty shorts. Oh yes. Uh, inverted comment. <laughs> <laughs> My comment. Dead ass. My comment, that whole body. She's travel-sized, you know. You just put her in uh, carry-on luggage. Yeah, you can fit in your suitcase. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, she's taking on Tamina, who is not travel-sized. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm kind of glad they're they're throwing these two together because that means Vicky isn't trying to... Um... I know we've discussed this before, but what the fuck is uh, Vicky trying to do now with AJ? Does anybody know? Can anybody tell me? The only real thing I can, I think we've thought up is the is the is the that she just she's just trying to make she's trying to bring AJ down with verbal with her with this whole thing until the point that she just quits. Oh, she jelly hole. So she's trying to bully AJ into quitting. That's the only real scenario I can think for the reasons she's continuing to do this. I have another scenario. Now bear with me. You two might want to run for cover. Vicky wants AJ dead. What was that? Sorry, you broke up. Okay. Vicky wants AJ in bed. That's what I thought you said. I'm yeah, glad you I'm thought of sure. I'm, I'm glad you thought of that. That just tells me how right in the head you are. Right? I am not right in the head. I am proudly wrong. Um. Oh, let's go to this match. Um. 
if she wants her in bed, it, it, the way she's been treated her, she wants to do. She she wants to be the no- dominatrix in the sexual relationship. The the safe word is banana. banana. Oh, God, well there goes that boner. Um, let's go. Let's talk about this match a little bit because it's okay. AJ is this small little thing, and Tamina is super fly. She's an Amazon. I was going to think of a Filipino uh, warrior woman, but okay. Um, good yeah, match, wait. but good match between the two. I'm going to say, from what we saw, from how much little time they gave. Um, seriously, if you, if you just if they just gave the divas the amount of time they used to back in the Attitude Era, you you'll see some improvement rather than oh she can't run the ropes. So well, anything more than five I mean, minutes? There was er, early on in the Attitude Era, it was all right. But towards the end of the Attitude Era, they 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 really basically treated the the women like just nothing more than TNA, and they would constantly do gimmick matches to have them in in, in you know set states of undress or you know and. You know, uh, bikini were... or lingerie matches, and or they or they'd sometimes just have them come out and pose for some kind of con- a contest that didn't mean anything. Yeah, that and there were so many blonde-haired women with like fake chests that they all kind of turned into each other. They all merged into Kelly Kelly. Um, <laughs> uh, AJ wins with the roll up because why have an actual finishing move when you can just make Jenga scream? <laughs> Uh, and actually, actually, this I, I I don't I did not mind this this particular role because Tamina was basically beating beating the snot no, out. No, no, no. I, I'm not trying to say anything bad about the, the this roll up makes sense, but AJ's actually got a finishing move, and I wish they'd remember she's she can do a shining wizard. Shining. I, I also Ooh, I, also, I, also, I also really give props for AJ like sell, selling the way the selling the end of the match and she's not she's not like going yay she's like going oh fuck <sighs> I, I barely got out of this ow, ow. and that cue CM Punk's music the other guy she was schlupping at some point we, we all are aware that she was doing Daniel Bryan and CM Punk a same time with Kane being involved in there as well, right? We do all remember that, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, um, I remember that. Wait. <laughs> I don't know why I went with that accent. I'm glad I did. <laughs> uh, Punk is with uh, his uh, ring bitch, Heyman, and Heyman's got a book, and we'll find out what it is after this commercial break. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, I forgot. Um, the book is actually the WWE Encyclopedia, and I Hello, did not... I, my name is Paul Heyman, and I like little boys in purple tuxedos. That was an oddly specific creepy comment. The word today is burial, the thing Triple H does. Um, okay, um... And it's an encyclopedia. Yeah, it's an encyclopedia. I did not know they had this, but apparently he's he's mad at it because oh, they um, just they I think they announced this last week or the week before. Well, the the bottom line is, um, payments pissed at the book because well, Punk's not in it enough. I mean, just not enough title reigns, not enough length length of a title reign. I mean. I mean, he's just going to suppress John Cena's WWE Championship reign, become the longest reigning WWE Champion in the past 25 years. But that's not, you know, uh, important at all. I mean, come on, he's not even mentioned. uh, uh, He's only mentioned about 70 times in here. He should be mentioned 71. Should be mentioned every page. Every page should just have a shiny, uh, just have a big old picture of Punk. That is and should be written and it should be written in like Victoria cursive letters. It's just fucking huge and like red. <laughs> yes, exactly. You see, Allie gets it. Allie gets it. I don't understand why nobody else gets it. The entire encyclopedia should just be the encyclopedia of punk. 
Yeah, and um, also apparently they're carving a, a Mount Rushmore esque monument in the side of some sacred Indians land. So get ready for that. I don't know. I've lost the point of this promo because Punk is now talking. Yeah. And apparently he's being unfairly persecuted by everybody. I'm going to sue everybody. And he's also upset because, you know, he's got to face Ryback once again. I mean, I'd be upset if I had to face Ryback in a TLC match. Because, you know, bad things can happen in a TLC match. You know, like uh, a green, uh, uh, a guy who's very, very green, attempting his finishing move, and instead of actually dropping you safely, uh, you end up with the with a, a metal a piece of the table through your torso. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. What? What? Who? Who was that? And when did this have happened? It could happen. Um. um was, was, oh, it could happen. happen. Like, it it, it didn't actually. I thought you. I thought. I thought you were describing something that actually did happen. Did that uh, happen to, like, Holly or something? It may have. I'm not sure. Um, and, yeah, and Punk's like, hey, you know what? I'm, uh, it's not, I'm not champion because of Heyman or Brad Maddox or The Shield. You know, it's because I'm the best in the world. And you know what? And you know what? If, uh, you know, just, just start changing the, uh, and if you don't like it, Change the channel, get out like of your to... seats, and uh, I'll say bye. And, and the I'll... funniest thing is, I think uh, it, it might have, and it might have been this week, but this is probably one of the lowest rated Raws. So good well, job. Well, well, here's the th- here's the thing. I have to say, this was one of uh, this is this is a really good punk promo. Honestly, I mean, it had aspects of of the punk promos we've been seeing for a few weeks, but this was a lot better. Well, it, I just I, I I really like it, it had aspects of like his old straight edge where he just tore it in the audience basically so uh, telling them how much better he, I uh, he is than all of them that kind of thing and that's I, that's the type of punk that I really love. Well, getting back to what Ali said about the about the whole ratings thing, look at what they had to go up against on Monday Night Football. Redskins Giants that was a an, an utter nail biter. I don't know if that's sarcasm or not. No, it's not. I mean, the game, the game was close the entire way, but at the same time, Raw Monday Night Football, mm, the right, divisional, a uh, divisional game. Uh, I'm gonna watch the divisional game because I don't know what's gonna happen, and what happens is, well, bad things for the Giants. Um, but this brings out Cleveland's favorite son. The Miz to do reallys, which we which we haven't really heard the repeated reallys from him in a, in a little bit, but you know I'm glad they're back because yeah. um well Miz has got a you know Miz is like hey look I may have had help during my WWE championship reign, but you know at least I'm man enough to admit it. And you know what? Hey, last week if the shield hadn't, you know, shown up when they did, uh, Ryback would have eaten you. But you know what? Hey, 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 hey! Hold on a second. I got a challenge for you, man. Okay. Um, and the Walrus can shut up. The Walrus apparently is Heyman. Um, all Punk has to do is appear live on Miz TV tonight and take a lie detector test. Really? Oh yeah, really? Huh. Yeah, those good. those don't hold up in court at all, <laughs> and there's a reason for that. They're about yeah, they're yeah. about um they're about seventy percent accurate. Just saying. They're not actually that. It, you can beat them very easily. Uh, it just takes discipline and the ability right. to control your own breathing. Because essentially, what it what it is uh, testing is uh, it, it measures your perspiration, your heartbeat, and your breathing patterns. Right, and if you can if you can control all that, which you can very easily, uh, you've got it. Uh, you've got it beat. But wh- whatever, we'll use the lie detector test, and uh, we'll find out 
what happens in a little bit later. Because now we've got a John Cena Sheamus match, a uh, John Cena tag team match with Sheamus and Dolph Ziggler and the Big Show. And it's actually a good match. Yeah, I was I was going to say it's a, it's a decent match between uh, considering we have the team of stale and boring. Well, I was going to I was going to say that John Cena is like a really mild cheese. He's really boring, but he's good when you put it out with other good things. Uh, don't you mean stale? Not no, no, not like, boring. Talk, Cena isn't really boring. It's Seamus. No, it's boring. like a really plain cheese. Like, uh, what's a really plain cheese? Like Jack? Uh, mm. Mozzarella? Uh, no, no. I, I, a really boring you're thinking cheese. A really, if you're thinking of really stale cheese, you're thinking of American cheese. Not even that. I would go with Kraft Singles. <laughs> isn't that American cheese? No, that it's is not. Cheese. It's not. I'm not even calling John Cena cheese. He's 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 processed dairy product. <laughs> I mean, he's not even Sargento. Um, believe it or not, this is actually a good match, which is surprising. I mean, it, it's health because Dolph Ziggler sells like, well, Chance. he he sells like he's getting shot out of cannons. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, up to the point when when we almost had um, Scott Hall flip himself out of the ring selling a Stone Cold Stunner. Or was it a rock bottom? It was a Stone Cold Stunner. Um, yeah, uh, Dolph Ziggler sells like like anything, and it, it it makes things it makes things hilarious when he's you know selling Cena's offense or Sheamus's offense. I actually, my personal favorite sell that Ziggler did in this match is when, when Sheamus did the Irish Kirk and it, curse, and it looked, it made, it made Ziggler made it look like he literally just got bent in half. That's what I mean. Irish, Irish Kirk, Irish Kirk, Mister Spock, be tell us, Scotty, that I'm drunk. And he's a Scotsman. And I hate it. And that's a Scottish accent, isn't it? Fuck, I can't. Yeah, it is a Scottish accent. <laughs> oh, Faith in Begoria. Mr. Spock, beam me back up. I have to go beat Mr. Scott for a while. That's a little bit better. Boy, the toy, the toy. Yeah, and uh, anyway. Potatoes. <laughs> um, this match, uh, we've got paper... We, I'm not gonna. Spo- I'm gonna spoil something here. We've got pa- we've got a tag team match that is pay per view opponents. So you've got John Cena and Dolph Ziggler. They're gonna be having a match at the pay per view, um, which is TLC. And then Sheamus and the Big Show are is gonna ha- are gonna have a match at TLC, and it's gonna be a chairs match apparently. So um, yeah, what happens? What what happens? Um, no, I mean, what happens when like the 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 immovable snore meets the like <laughs> impenetrable boring? Uh, and they're like, it's well, gonna be really fucking boring, okay? Yeah, I got that, Allie. Yeah, uh, even the inclusion of two people with chairs is gonna be boring. Which is amazing. Uh, Congratulations, WWE. It, the, the matches between Big Show and Sheamus have been really good, so hopefully, hopefully it will be good. But you know, there's always the potential. Uh, yeah. So back to this match. Um, the finish was amazing. We have. Sheamus hitting show with white noise at the same time Cena hit, connects with the FU on Ziggler. Mm. I mean, it was it was almost in perfect sync. Oh, okay. I was I was like I thought he was like just amazing that I I guess it wasn't that amazing because of who Cena was picking up. It it, it would have been it, uh, I would actually like to see maybe. <laughs> Oh, this would be an, um, probably a disaster. But like, just imagine, say, a tag team of Kali and Big Show, and and, and Cena has to pick up uh, Kali while Sheamus picking up <laughs> Big Show. That's I kind of I kind of wish Cena picked up Big Show so they'd lie again about Big Cena never picking up Big Show before. 
<laughs> no, he's picked up Big Show before. I've seen it happen. Yeah, he picked up Edge and Big Show. I've oh, seen that I'm... happen too. You know what else I have? You know what I haven't seen? Someone win one of these stupid Damian Sandow um, uh, challenges. I really like Damien Sando, but I don't like this. The only he's reason... Based, he's, he's, he's pretty much doing it, the Monty Python well, and the Holy Grail, you know, the bridge, the, the sequence of in, on the bridge. What is your favorite color? Blue. What is the speed of a laden swallow? African or European? I don't know. No, it's no, it's just no, it's. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I don't know that. <laughs> All right. Um. So this leads, of course. Uh, I'm not going to even involve the questions because they're retarded. Forty-five miles an hour. Right. Um. This leads out to a Santino versus Damian Sandow match. And oh a, yeah, the worst the worst part is that Santino cuts a really bad stup- uh, tr- uh, promo trying, and I and I emphasize trying way too hard to be funny. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This match ends before it even begins. funny because it's John. So anyways, as I didn't blow out everybody's ears, um, we go to the back where Ziggler is with Vicky and she and he's like, give me a match! And Vicky's like, go steal the show! But don't kiss me. And then uh, Ziggler's like, hey, uh, there's also someone in your office. And Vicky goes in See Brad Maddox, and apparently he's here to ensure no one ever forgets his name. And I've already forgotten this guy. Who is he? I, I don't know. He's the ref that he's the ref that uh, caught ch- ch- that low blowed ch- Ryback at at um Hell in a Cell. Nobody asked you. I still I just don't know his name, and apparently he wants a contract. But uh, Vicky's like, okay, you got a one night contract. Mm-hmm. You got a match tonight. Will I get money? No. I'm oh. honestly, I'm honestly surprised that they're still that, that they they brought him back. I didn't think they were going to do anything with this guy, and it's it still looks like they're not really doing anything other than having him on TV. I'm on TV. Yeah. So then we have a Sin Cara versus Alberto Del Rio match for some reason, and it's oh. actually good. Sin Cara. I believe this, this this I believe this match um they had the they they had the blue light and this is uh this is the first time that Sin I I, I know I'm jumping ahead but this is the first time to my knowledge that Sin Cara has lost a match under the blue light. Hmm, interesting. The way I mean it was a, actually a good match. Of course, these two have know each other from back in the day in in Mexico, but um. Yeah. Did they really wrestle each other in Mexico? Because I. Um, yeah, yeah, there's a couple of companies down there, so they probably wrestled once or twice when back when he was uh, Mystico or whatever his name is. Uh, Mystico and then. Uh, do, do, uh, oh, God. Backlash. Backlash. Are you here? I don't think he's interested enough. Okay. Um. Yeah, again, it was a good match. Sin Cara did not, you know, kill himself or kill Del Rio. And, um, but again, it just, none, none, none of this meant anything. It was just a match, and Alberto Del Rio wins with the uh, cross arm breaker. Who knew that would happen? Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm yawning so much. Um, these matches are just boring me. They're great, but they're boring me. And- uh,. Coming up next, before they're before greatly we, boring. Before before we see this, I want to met. Uh, I just want to say that um, they've been mentioning the whole night that there's rumors that Vince McMahon is here tonight. And wait, the boss of the here, company. And then is we at see the him. Show, and then we the see him walking backstage. Yes. 
So apparently the rumors are true. And then Michael Cole ruins it by going, there are rumors that Vince McMahon is in the back. Look at your monitor. He's here. And apparently he wants to have a conversation with Vicky Guerrero. What do you mean he actually showed up to the thing he owns? I know. Huh. And he's in the and he wants her in the middle of the ring. Up next. And so Vicky, and so of course, Vicky comes out and, and and she's like, "Please welcome, excuse me, Vince McMahon." And down comes the chairman. And Vicky's like, "I've got a great match. There's going to be a no DQ match." between Dolph Ziggler and John Cena at the pay-per-view. And Vince is like, uh, Vicky, that's not victory Twinkie material. And I have a full case in the back. I bought them off eBay. The name of the pay-per-view, by the way, is TLC. So, um, let's have a ladder match. But there's going to be nothing hanging uh, uh, above the ring, Vince. So, so it, it wouldn't work. Mm-mm. Let's put Ziggler's money in the bank briefcase above it. Um, Is that, are you sure that's a good idea? I'm positive. I've got a victory Twinkie warming up right now. Okay. God, as long uh, as your as long as your pay per view was like tacos, something in cake. <laughs> tacos. I was I was just immediately when they started. When the, when the words were said during this promo, but there's going to be nothing hanging. I was like, no, no, no! Tell me they're not. No, they're not doing this. God damn it, they are. Yeah, yeah, they I kind of figured. Um, but as Vicky tries to leave, Vince is like, I, I got, I got some more stuff to tell you. Um, there's got to be some consequences for Punk tonight. If he fails the lie detector, um test then um gee come on vicky give me something paul Heyman has to face ryback next week on raw what's he lying about again i have no clue i do uh, i do love this dynamic that they have with vince and uh, with uh, that the, they have with vince and vicky where vic vince basically just fucks with her into the and pushes her into the getting uh, into having the match that 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 re- re- really he wants. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. Um, and then the promo ends, and up next is Brad Maddox match. Now, they could have given him anyone. They could have given him uh, jobbing to guys. Um, perhaps uh, they could have given him Hornswoggle. But no, Vicky Guerrero has chosen Randy Orton, and the crowd goes to sleep. <laughs> I know I did. This match, five freaking minutes, and it was all Orton's offense, which is a real shame because apparently, um, Brad Maddox is an actual wrestler. <laughs> yeah, um, Randy kills Brad Maddox dead, and then oh yeah, he. I have to say that that he definitely killed. Uh, uh, that this look. I I will say I did like the RKO. He did he did the look uh, the, this particular RKO because it really looked like he, he delivered it with a lot of force. He did kill Max. Yeah, but this brings out the shield to uh, triple team Orton and then hit the triple team power bomb. I have not. Yay! I, and the crowd goes interesting. Yeah. I know I was. Yeah, they're just, yeah they're totally like. They're totally unlike any other heel stable, just beating up people. They're they're yeah. totally shielding us all from uh, injustice. They're, they're shielding, shielding us from boring people. Boring that is Randy Orton, and that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish they said that. Just Randy Orton's really boring. We have to protect you from that. <laughs> so um, we go to the back where Vicky is yelling at poor Chad Robinson. I don't know why she's yelling at Little Nate. Because he can profile and style better than anyone. And in comes Ziggler. Uh, it would have been awesome if, as, as she's yelling at Charles Robinson, all of a sudden Nate Rick comes in the room. Oh my woman! And starts you? getting into it with her. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, can you imagine? Uh, I, I'm just imagining. 
Woo! Excuse me! Woo! Excuse me! <laughs> that would have been awesome. Um, he'd, he'd probably say something that's, like, really sexist, like making a woman out of her. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'll have you know I have a daughter. Can I make a woman out of her, too? Woo! <laughs> Wow. I'm telling the cops. And then he just kind of walks away wooing. <laughs> woo, woo. Anyway, uh, Dolph Ziggler is not happy. <laughs> Look, Vicky, I've already had to defend this uh, brief- briefcase uh, once this year, you know, against that that fabulously sexy Chris Jericho. Oh, yeah. You disappoint me. And then in walks Paul Heyman, who's like. I love this stare down, I have to say. My I, hair is big with you. My hair is about to come back in. I am that angry. I am going to grow hair to tear out. I do think Vicky oversold it a little bit, but I love the face on Heyman. I know. Awesome. It was just one of those. <laughs> it's like a really angry Sharpe. Yeah. And uh, Vicky's like, you better hope Punk's not lying. And then... In walks Sita, and he's got to thank. He, he's here just to uh, to to thank Vicky for 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 giving him the match. And you know, he wasn't expecting it. And you know, what? he might have been the first person to catch in and lose. But you know what? I've got another shot. Hey, John. Just so you know, this is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, it is. Fuck that noise. Yeah, this the, the the whole thing makes no sense. Why would they? Why would they have him going for the SmackDown Championship when he's on Raw? Unless they plan on moving him there, which they're not uh, going uh, to do, it unless they're fucking retarded. I I, I don't understand this, this this briefcase that Dolph has is for the World Heavyweight Championship, not. Anything else, John? You you can't cash it in and just go. Well, I got this money in the bank. Now I could go after the 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 WWE Championship again. No, you can't. It's this is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Really? Hey, Dolph, here, maybe, you can have it back. Maybe they're gonna do some kind of weird thing where he all wins of a sudden it and, they, and they change it and they and and then they change it into the Raw one. I don't know. That'd be funny if Cena was like, all of a sudden, I don't care. And then he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That, that would actually kind of be amazing. Um, but yeah, the, the fact alone that this is the SmackDown case should clue you into the fact that Cena is not winning. We hope. We hope. We hope. Yeah. The, WWE would be monumentally stupid if he, they had him win. I wouldn't. I wouldn't count my chickens. Yeah, I'm not counting my chickens till well. Uh, they're all drawn on the table in Sharpie. Anyways, so um. One, two, three. Stop oh. counting chickens. Why are they in my room? Because I put them there. Oh. So um. The next thing we have is the former tag team champions. They're uh, ta- bringing them back together for one night only, on a, a one time only. Kingston and our truth, and they're taking on Antonio Cesario and Wade Barrett, and out comes Teddy Long, and he's like, "Well, play us." <laughs> and immediately, the first thing I thought uh, said was, "What are you doing out here? This is already a tag match." Well, Teddy has to prove us wrong, and he's now booking it a fatal four-way championship match. But for what championship? Kofi Kingston's Intercontinental Championships championship? Um or Wade Bear or or Antonio Cesario's US Championship. And we'll find out right now with via Twitter. Here's a Twitter poll. Here's a commercial. You got till then. And when we get back, the bullshit poll is revealed to be it's a United States championship match. Well, even even if it is a bullshit poll, who's uh, uh, prop? I can totally see that the fans voting 
for Antonio because he's the heel and they want to see him lose a title. Or they could have had this planned in advance and it had been like, yeah, who cares? Um, who gives a shit? Fan yeah. interaction? Yeah, right. Um, this is a long ass. Yeah, I, I, I'm still, I, I still will say I hate the whole fan interaction thing when it's so obviously rigged that, that it's like, then why do you have it? To give the illusion that the fans mean something to the WWE. Yeah, I know it's bullshit. Too. <laughs> um, so we this match was pretty good. I mean, all four men were. You know, it should have been AJ all. <laughs> uh, let me just say something real quick. I really do not hate the fact that like WWE d- doesn't want to like acknowledge let their fans bo- actually make a decision like this. Why? Why? Oh, it's just because oh, it's because you have this plan ahead of time. Oh, you can't do things on the fly? Come on. Well, then there's the fact that if you let the fans have their say, well, then you you have to turn guys like... Uh, well, okay. If you actually let the fans have their own say, John Cena would not have a million title shots. If you let oh, yeah. Them, he would be hopeless. Yeah. If, you know, if, there, if, if it were up to me, I would... I would do an, uh, a similar stipulation that TNA did. A, uh, TNA did where where Cena, if Cena lost, he doesn't get the challenge for the championship for a whole year. But my God, if we do that, how will we ever move the Cena merchandise? You'll move it just fine. You don't Ugh. need him to have the title of Shell Merch. His hats. His hats, man. Look at all these hats. hats. Look at all these hats we bought. <laughs> um. Anyways, uh. So this, I mean, all four guys really worked their asses off to um. I don't yeah, know. You're doing a little song for me. Give me your dishes and bowl and oh, cup. Oh, no, mom. Oh, good. Rockatons, <laughs> mom. Um. That was fun. Um, so, yeah, I, all four of these guys really did pretty good. At least I thought so. Um, match ends, though. Cesario beats, uh, hits uh, the neutralizer on Truth, and uh, I don't even know if this calls for problem. Okay, we're still going on. Um, I'll at least say something. So actually, what happened is Cesario tried to go for the neutralizer, but Truth uh, broke it up. But then, and then Barrett got him into the uh, got him into the bull hammer. And, right. But then Kofi bring, breaks then that Kofi up. Gets to Trouble in Paradise. Cesaro breaks that. Eventually, Cesaro does hit the neutralizer on, on Kofi. Really? Because my results are saying Truth. He hit it on a black man. That's all we know. <laughs> so interchangeable. I know. It's not. Except they're not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, so our final segment of the night is we end on Ms. TV with the lie detector test, as done by Mister. Because of because we don't want to have a match for our main event uh, for our final segment of the evening. No, let's have lots of talking. Talking, talking, talking. Actually, um. Uh, the guy, so Miz introduces um, our lie detector specialist, Mr. Abrahamson. What? Abrahamson. Yeah, that's, that's the guy's name I've got. What kind of name is that? It, so, it, it, it sounds like they're contracting Abraham Simpson. So, um, as oh, uh, bitch, bitch, bitch. So, as uh, as Miz is uh, trying to explain how a lie detector uh, wor- uh, uh, works, Punk is like, hey, you know what? You suck. And here is why you suck in, in glorious detail. And Miz is like, you know, I don't suck, but your mom does. Ooh. 
Ooh, snap. Seriously? Really? Really? Madness. Um, so we start out with the test, and we start off with some embarrassing questions, like, you know, Rey Mysterio shaving Punk's head, um, Punk getting punked by Jeff Hardy. I don't even remember, I didn't even remember that, that Rey Mysterio was the one that shaved his head. Um, Big Show ripping the mask off to reveal Punk's semi-bald head to the world. Shiny. That I remember. Um, and then, you know, he goes into serious mode. He's asked, okay, hey, can you beat Ry- uh, Ryback by yourself? The test results are inconclusive. All right, all right. <gasps> Here, all right. So, uh, Punk, any collusion you might have with the Shield or Brad Maddox? And before Punk can answer yes or no, the Shield hits the ring and completely destroys Miz. Which is fine, because this brings out Team Hell No. But they can't do shit, and the crowd starts chanting, Feed Me More. Which brings out Ryback. And... Apparently, this, despite the fact that Ryback has been beaten down by the Shield several times over the past couple weeks, he's able to beat them off. I have no words. Well, I guess eventually they're, I mean, just given the way they, they, um portray Ryback, you know, he was going to eventually find a way to port him off. Right. Um, so, uh, as, as Punk is, Punk decides to get into the ring and stands over Miz, who's in the middle of the, of the ring, and it's like, hey, you want to ask me any more questions, bitch? As Punk starts to celebrate, he forgets all all about Ryback. And Ryback decides to hit the shell shock. Then goes out, grabs a chair, and starts hitting Punk with the chair. Goes back out, grabs a ladder. He, he only needed to hit him once, and god damn, that did... <laughs> that sounded like a nasty shot. Yes, it did. God bless Punk. And then he goes get grabs a ladder, does the same with the ladder, and then he goes and sets up a table in the middle of the ring. And then power bombs Punk's knee straight through it, injuring him. Hooray! Um, he had to go in for emergency surgery because of that. Good job, Ryback, you green ass bastard. How do you do that with a power bomb? Uh, you're Ryback. Very easily if you don't know how to do it properly. Yeah. Or you do it really stiff. Or you decide to do it really stiff. But this is Ryback. It's a great idea. No, no, it's not. Um, Even though his knee's torn now and they had to repair that. No, just a a partially torn meniscus. He he can be back in about a couple weeks. Yeah, but he still has to miss the pay-per-view. Yeah, he will be missing the pay-per-view. and You know, honestly, I'm happy about that. It, I'm happy that it, they don't that he doesn't have to face Ryback again because he shouldn't have to. Well, hold on a second, guys, because that's a great segue as we end Raw and we go into SmackDown, as we're told that CM Punk suffered a knee injury and, uh, well, he will not be facing Ryback at TLC. Instead, Ryback will join forces with Daniel Bryan and Kane to face the Shield. In a tables, ladders, and chairs match with pinfall and submission rules. Doesn't that completely ruin the point? Thank you, Allie. <laughs> I mean... It's just, it's just a match with furniture. Uh, okay. Honestly, Good for you! Did, 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 have we... So, so the match... Why are you doing... The, why do you do this, WWE, sometimes? You... Put in it's a cage that match. That don't make sense. The, the, ma- the match is no DQ. What do you need? I guess it really isn't a table size or chairs match then. 
No, it's not because you know when the tables, ladders, and chairs matches. That's a match where you've got where where you take the belt, put it above the above the ring. You have the guys beat the shit out of each other, going for it. Now instead, it's beat have Ryback beat the shit out of the Shield, put them through tables, and then pin pin them with this, a ladder or something. This interview know. is done. Um, yeah, the only way this might work as if maybe they'd suddenly decide to put the tag belts up up there or something. Well, they do have a week, so... Yeah. Well, anyways, uh... We've got, uh... We, we opened SmackDown with Booker T in the, in the middle of the ring, and you know what? He's got some words about his career. I mean, he's he's done a lot in this business. Um... I mean, he's taking care of business in the middle of the ring. He's taking care of business in the back. He's taking uh, care of business in the street. He's taking uh, care of business in the middle of a supermarket. Uh, no, a you market. didn't. No, Sometimes you a... did not, sir. You got beaten the shit out of by one stone's cold Steve Austin. When the <laughs> mood hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a more a smack. I got to I got to say though, does Booker T know where he is? I mean, like. Yeah, I, 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 I don't understand this. Um, <laughs> essentially, Booker T has decided that Big Show and Sheamus are just getting way too physical and it's become personal. As his proof is, well, they oh, show God, Sheamus. I, hate, I really hate this shit where our general managers are like, oh, God forbid some, uh, our wrestlers get physical. Well, it's gotten too physical. I mean, the Ooh, proof is in the pudding. That makes so much difference. Wrestling well, on a wrestling show. Oh my god. I mean, come on. Uh, seriously. Uh, they. I mean, Sheamus is attacking Big Show in garages and parking lots, and, and then we have the chair shots. So, um, for not for the next nine days, Sheamus and Big Show will not be allowed to touch one another. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching this will come into play hilariously later on. Um, of course it will. <laughs> so, um, so well, I'm not going to do this in the back. We're going to do this in the middle of the ring so everybody can see. And uh, out comes the two men. And uh, Booker looks at Seamus and goes, Hey, you know what? Go ahead and touch him. Because if you do... It's, uh, it's, uh, you won't get your title shot at TLC. And, uh, hey, by the way, Big Show, don't be smiling, because if you, uh, do, if you touch Seamus, and if Ali can, yeah, thank you. If, uh, Ali wants to disobey the, the no, if, uh, Ali wants to disobey the no contact, uh, contract class, uh, he will be stripped of his World of Warcraft gold. And if... <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You set me up. If Big Show... But I'm up 40! Don't care. If Big Show touches Sheamus, despite the fact that he can't be fired... If you want to strip someone of their World of Warcraft gold, it, it should be me, because I'm the one that has, like, over 8,500 8, gold. That's not a whole lot. Um, by the way, if... Uh, even though... Now, Big Show has this ironclad contract, but if he touches Sheamus... Uh, he's going to be stripped of the world title. And, uh, you know, Seamus is like, hey, you know what? If I got to, if I got to wait, it's, it's great that this is the holiday season because now Christmas is going to come in nine days. It's going to be worth this wait because, hey, I'm going to get the ultimate present world heavyweight championship. And he signs an Irish and Big Show's like, hey, you know what? Christmas might uh, have come, uh, has come early for Seamus, because guess what? This means he can make it to TLC in one piece! Because, you know, Show is like a god, because, hey, I'm just gonna hit you with a chair and you'll be dead. And, uh, you, you know, hey, you know what? Just go ahead, ask Booker to get out of the match. And, uh, but you're too stupid, so uh, I could, I'm going to end your career. That's all I'm going to do. And uh, I sign. 
Yeah, uh, the only way uh, oh. the show could actually do that is if he act, act, actually really hit he if he sent if he like sended the chair shot to Seamus and like hit him for real with all <laughs> his strength. Yeah. But Joe is not stupid. He's not going to do that. Right. Well, here's the thing. Now we're going to have... But but uh, before Seamus can, you know, hit show because show did pull a little shenanigans trying to get him to hit him, we've got matches tonight. First, Seamus is going to face Alberto Del Rio, and Big Show is going to Oh, God. Face, Ugh. I know. And Big Show is going to face Daniel Bryan. Guess how huh. this works out. No, seriously. Guess how this works out. Have a party? Yeah, no. Big Show beats Brian with a huge choke slam. But this that, was a this was a oh, quite a good match, though. I really liked it. it. Really was, and I kind of wish that they would have given more time to it. But no, we had Shield shenanigans. Yes, and they came out from the crowd again because, yeah, why not? Um, you know, I, again, we've got the, the 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 shield after the after the ring, and Big Show is able to. This is the worst the worst thing. They say they're against they're they okay. We're we're here to shield the WWE universe against injustice. So, why are you just attacking faces? Because they're the worst of injustice. Okay, you see that guy? Yeah, that's John Cena. Go attack him. No. Why? He has not done any injustice yet. God, oh, god damn it. Um, yeah, they, they start beating down Brian, but out comes Kane, and he starts to fight up. And just when you think Kane has it, uh, the shield goes back into control, and they powerbomb him through the uh, announce table. Who saw that coming? Everyone. In fact, this blind guy I used to e fed with saw it coming. Blind guy can e fed? You'd be amazed. Um. So we go to, we co- we come back. Um, and Damien's little the little kids that WWE caters to can see this coming. Yeah. Um. Damien Sandow's in the ring. His music. Playing, he's like, hey, no, shut my music off. I am the intellectual savior of the uh, WWE. So much saving. Yeah, there's a lot of saving going on right now. Um, and he again pick, picks out a doofus from the crowd to disgrace, and um, he tells that after he does that, he says, "Everybody, you're welcome." And then Miz comes out, and he's got a question for uh, for for Damian Sandow. He asks him, "Which 21st century WWE super, superstar wears his daddy's bathrobe, gets his trunks from, and gets his trunks from Victoria's Secret?" The answer is Damian Sandow. So now we've got who have thunk it? So now we've got Miz feuding with Damian Sandow. I have no, I know. That, 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 that's all right. I have no problems with that. I have big problems with that. Good Why? For you. At what point did, did Damien Sandow piss in Mrs. Cornflakes? It, it just makes no sense to me. He has something to do now, okay? I'll get our grant of that. Cause we, but we've got another match coming up. It's Brodus Clay with the Fugets. The Usos versus 3MB. 3Megabyte. Oh, I love 3MB. And, oh. and, and Brodus Clay is trying to, is doing the Gangnam style. So WWE is, is also behind the times, just like TNA. Mm. It's not a thing anymore. No, it's well, not. Well, at, least, at least since Brodus Clay's a fat guy, it looks kind of funny. Yeah. 
Well, but it bores me. So, uh, yeah, this match is 3 MB all the way because, um, yeah, all three of the, the three other guys are just, yeah. So we've got two. Because Brodus Clay and the, because they're not, they're pretty much set on never having any missiles uh, win anything and they're not doing anything with Clay, so, yep. Yeah, why not? Hey, uh, so where's the shield uh, after uh, uh, 3 MB wins? Hmm? Oh, okay, I get it now. Um, so uh, we have we go to the back we go to the back after three MB beats, and thank God Drew McIntyre was the one who won because if Heath Slater did, we would never hear the end of it. Um, we go to the back. I like Heath Slater. Shut up. <laughs> yes, I like Heath Slater as, uh, as well. When he's giving me burgers at Wendy's. Um, oh, come on. He looks like the Wendy's girl. Do we really need to bring that up again? Every damn time. I don't know why, but to me, he looks like that one kid from uh, that one Nickelodeon show. Which Nickelodeon show? Oh, fuck, I forgot the name of it. The Adventures of Pete and Pete? Yeah. Yeah. Um, old Pete or young Pete? Uh, maybe old Pete. Yeah, I'm getting a more old Pete vibe. Um, so we're in the back with Wade Barrett and Matt Stryker, and um, Wade is like, hey, you know, about a year ago, I killed Randy Orton. So, uh, doesn't have to worry about the shield anymore. Just gotta worry about me. Okay. Why are they huh. having these wrestling guys wrestle again? Because there's nobody else on SmackDown. They ran out of ideas. Seriously. There is nobody. Nobody. On SmackDown. That is so... Well, there is Tyson Kidd if they would actually do something with him. Right. Um... <laughs> So yeah, we've got uh, Randy Orton versus Wade Barrett, and uh, I'm I'm so bored that I'm going to go away. And yeah, pretty much. I think this is the match that made me fall asleep. <laughs> uh, it, it's pretty much. Moving on then. Introducing Randy Orton. Okay, Randy Orton wins. Okay, we're moving on. Uh, really? I am right. Where are you? Uh oh. Okay then. Great Coley. <laughs> Great Coley and Horton Suggle with Natalia for some reason. I don't know why. Versus. Epico and Primo. I think mean, why is Nat- why is Natalia here? This has never been established. Um, I don't know. Actually, she loves short people. Actually, it has been. Apparently, she's a got a thing with with the great Kali. Oh yeah, that thing. Yeah. Tell me you love me, Kali. <laughs> but this is. Literally, this whole Kali is like the the complete filler segment because it has as there's no point at all. By the way, when did Epico and Primo go heel again? Sometime. Gotcha. I don't think I don't think they 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 were never face at any point. They were face when they were facing the primetime players. Really? Because I didn't. Think they? I don't think they ever established. They have some. That. They have some kind of weird pecking order going on. Yeah. It's yeah. Um. Yeah, it's just so weird. But yeah, they were they were faced when they were taking on the primetime players. Well, I know. If they were faced, and I was not told. <laughs> well, now you've been told. Kali, you're old, your knees are bad, you're teaming up with a midget. 
Come on. <laughs> his knees has always his knees has always been bad. It's the shape of his body. The shape yes, of his but, body does not allow him to, well, no to wrestle a match like, in any in any real fashion. Dude, dude, you're getting no pride here. Just go. Anyways, okay. uh, go start a movie or something. Right. Um. Apparently, the the results I have are calling these these people the new oddities. No, bad. Isn't the oddities like the ICP? No, that's something completely different. Anyways, oh. um, after I, I, I would just call them the carnival freaks. There you go. Um, after, after Epico and Primo are completely humiliated because, you know, Epico had to eat a frog's a tadpole splash. Um, we get a video. We get a video interview from the Shield, and apparently they're here to t- to talk about injustice. Because you know, CM Punk was has been champion for for more than a year, and has been dis- was disrespected by the lie detector test from the Miz. Welcome to consequences. Randy Orton has taken advantage of a young, defenseless pragmatic. Welcome to payback. And Team Hell No, nobody says no to the Shield. Welcome to Walmart. <laughs> And Ryback, you are ha- you've been handed to success on a silver platter. You've been put on a pedestal. Well, we've knocked you down off that pedestal. Welcome to Earth, motherfucker. Now he's Will Smith. Yes, now now they're Will Smith. Um, they, they apparently they don't work for anyone. They don't work for Paul Heyman and CM Punk. You just said you don't work for anyone. Okay. They, they count as ev- they count as anyone. Oh right. Um, they work apparently for each other. Well, you also count as anyone. Wait, 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 wait. So you don't work for anyone, but you work for each other. Uh, I'm weird. I- I'm confused. And, and now, th- now they're gonna bring a shield to the to TLC. I'm sorry. They they're gonna bring a sword to TLC, but they're the shield, so they can't bring a sword. You y- you can't. We, we will we will block you. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'll have two to your AC. Uh, okay. <laughs> if am I the only? Am I just maybe the only one who is mildly curious to actually see the see see the the? Oh my uh, God! They they would act, uh, I, I would be. What? I would. I'm actually would be would like to see if they actually bring a sword. I'd like to see that just one time. Just Everybody to... knows Kane's got DR to to um slashing. You have to bring DR holy. You have to bring holy weapons. Yeah. I just yeah. made a D&D joke. I'm a nerd. I did it first. I know you did. Um So when we go when we come back after that awesomeness we have Antonio Cesario in the ring, and he'd like to talk about the United States of Antonio. Because apparently, he's sick of being the United States champion, so now he's changing the name of the country. But, uh, however, he's he's going to talk about how, uh, since he's been U.S. champion, he's learned a few things about, about America. I mean, they, he's like, well, you used to... Go go for the Amer- pursue the American dream. Now you look like the American g- dream, and he points it, and he puts up Dusty uh, Dusty Rhodes uh, picture on the Titan Tron. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then he's like, "Hey, look, you, your children and grandchildren are pathetic." And this brings out our truth. I didn't like the Cesar pr- promo, but the whole thing saying. America. Out of out of all the people to say like what's good about America, you get our truth. If, yeah. if you wanted to say some truth about America, you shouldn't be be saying thing like truth that people would still boo. You shouldn't say we are weak our, or not a superpower because that doesn't work. I mean, our truth. The guy, the crazy black guy who talks to an invisible man. A little uh, talk- an invisible child named Little Jimmy. Is saying what's good about America. Yeah. 
In fact, actually, he says, you know, if you pick a fight with America, America fights back. And apparently, um, he's also like, you know, that that truth doesn't know, doesn't need to tell Cesario that he doesn't want a new purse or Ricola. I don't uh, understand what that means. Uh, generic Europe things. Oh, okay. This um, is not a good Archer promo. <laughs> He's no. I'm this sorry. was an awesome. Um. This was an awesome R Truth pr- uh, promo. Sorry, I have to marshal my thoughts sometimes because I'm talking about R Truth. I love R Truth's crazy gimmick. Well, I, I like really his crazy do. gimmick, but this seemed to. I just didn't like this particular one. I'm sorry, I just didn't. You know, I mean. I enjoy R Truth a lot. I really do. I love I love how he moves. I love the fact that he if if they really wanted to, he could be champion. But at the same time, they're really undercutting him with this crazy gimmick, but then I love the crazy gimmick because I love insanity. I would love to have Delirious in the WWE. Being Delirious. I would love to see some of the insane shit that goes on in Chikara in the WWE, but I'll never have it. So R-Truth is my only, only thing. And, well, that's uh, AJ. I'm, I'm, no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just never, reading this. What? When you kick his dog, he's going to kick your cat. What? Yeah, R-Truth kind of pissed me off with that one. Apparently, Animal abuse. <laughs> yeah, now we've got imaginary animal abuse. And, um... Yeah, we end with Truth doing splits while the title's in the middle of the ring. So, let's go to our final match. Which is uh, Sheamus versus Alberto. Uh, what is this? Number 20? 20, if, I wasn't asleep, if I wasn't asleep before, I was out cold and now. How many times can you do the same match? And how... And how... How... Long are you going to have Alberto on a fucking losing streak? Apparently forever. Wait, he just started the losing streak, dude. I wouldn't complain about the music, the losing streak just well, yet. More well, the I fact mean, that he's fought Sheamus okay, like thirty-five okay, yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He won against. He won. We're, we're he talking won about Cena. Car. As far as I'm concerned, that doesn't fucking count. We're talking about Cena Orton 2.0 here, you know? This is not even a Cena Orton 2.0 because at least Cena Orton was kind of interesting and 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 kind of exciting. This is just really white Irishman versus really tan Mexican. And this is not even a good match. It's another one of those by the numbers. Seamus Del Rio match. I'm so I, glad I slept, slept through this. If, I, if, you, if you have an editing program and you just take like clips from other matches they had and then put it in this match, this would be that match. Yeah, seriously. You could even do it different days and, and shit like that. I don't know, like completely different pay-per-views. And yeah, and it would still be the same damn match. Totally. <laughs> because apparently Del Rio and Sheamus can't work anything out else. I mean, there was a little bit of a difference at the end because Sheamus hit the uh, locked in the clover leaf instead of the uh, bro kick. So there was that. And I, I have to say, I'm happy about that. It's it, it's nice to see something different than bro kick win. That's he sure he decides to do it. Yeah. So, uh, after Sheamus wins, uh, Big Show gets in the ring and is like, hey, hit me. Hit me, you son of a bitch. And Sheamus is like, nah, and throws Ricardo into Big Show's junk. What? Yes. You, you, um, you're, you're, I, I'm completely serious here. Big Show gets a Mexican 
in the dick. <laughs> I would I I I'd never I never give a next hand to the dick to anybody. I I I am just just amazed that there we go. It's all over. You know? It, it it's 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 all over. You get Mexican to the dick. Yeah, pre- pretty much. Um it's that that that's how we end with Big Show getting a Mexican to the dick. Good on you. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? What can you say to that? <laughs> Mexican to the dick, right hand. Mexican to the dick. So let's get a going with what is all HBK's fault. I'll tell you what's all HBK's fault. Ricardo Rodriguez being uh, being introduced to In the big cock. To the big cock, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Allie. What's all improper HBK's fault? U- in- improper use of an actual fucking lie detector is all HBK's fault. Yeah. It's not a, it's not the official thing. Whatever. Roxanne. Hmm. Let me think. I'm. Nice to get you the dick rock. Right. No. I already said that. Uh, I'm da- I know. Da- but... Damien Sandow continually doing the Monty Python uh, and the uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail sketches all HBK's Paul. Mm, very good. So let's get them plugs. Don't forget to subscribe to us on Blip TV or YouTube to keep up to date with all of our videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe to them as well. You can also like us on Facebook. Um, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Dark Match Wrestling, as well as our individual accounts. Um, Rocktan, do you have one? Do I have a Twitter? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so except for Jingus, because he's behind the times. Uh don't forget to follow, uh, check out TRE Productions, where all our videos plus lots of other great stuff is hosted. We're also on RVT Entertainment in the community section. And last, certainly not least, visit us on the, at the Spoonie Experiment forums in the wrestling section, where you can get yelled at by everybody for, I don't know, reasons. 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 That'll do it for the Dark Match for the week of December... The 8th. Wow, is it really December 8th? Yeah. Time sure flies when it's almost your birthday. Um, I'm Iron Bite. I am Rotten. And I want I really want to look forward to TLC, but WD is not making me look forward to it. Hey, 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 Rotten. At least you're not Backlash. Oh, yeah. I have. At least and I don't have to watch Final Resolution. And I'm Ellie. Good night and Mexican to the dick. <laughs>